So right click on part one, JZIP, extract a folder, CoinOps Lite 5. And you enter the password. Now I've just cut and paste this in to mask it, but if I unmask it, you can see what it is. OK. And this won't take too long. It will. Um, zip it. So it says it's going to take eight minutes, eight or nine minutes, and um, it's extracting it. Now what I'm going to do is just pause the video and then come back when it's done. Okay, that took about ten minutes to extract uh, CoinOps 5 Lite. Now it's in this folder. Here it is, and we'll open it up. If I just go back, I just want to show you properties what it should look like. So it should be around 4.57 should have 3136 files, 221 folders. Okay. Now if you have a Western Digital hard drive you're going to need to remove some games before um, before putting them onto the hard drive because it's just a little bit too big around 100 megabytes to uh, 200 megabytes too big depending on what you what you have so what I'm going to do is just make a new folder here and I'm going to call this um, games not installed okay then go to ROMs and five or six. the last one. Okay, now I am going to turn on my Xbox and FTP into it really quick. Okay, now I've opened up Flash FXP and we're going to FTP CoinOps Lite 5 Lite over into the Xbox. So, uh, I'm just going to quick connect again so you can see it. So it's 192.168.1.33. Your IP address will be different. Username Xbox Xbox Connect. Okay. Now this will go into the E folder under Emulators. Games not installed folder to be in there. So I'm going to move that up one. Okay, so now if I go up, I have Coin Ops Light and then the games not installed. So now this is going to be a little bit smaller in size. So actually, um, if I just go to properties here. You can see it's 4.27 gigabytes, so it's it's a bit smaller than it was before. So now we're just going to right-click, CoinOps Lite folder, and transfer, and this will take 
about 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, we just finished FTP and the file's over. It took about 10 or 15 minutes. Now there is, I'll show you here in a second, there's 271 megabytes um, left on my Xbox free and the games that we did not install So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games we didn't install. And I'll just show you in the properties how much room they took. They took 300 megabytes. So they wouldn't fit. I mean, there we probably wouldn't be about 30 megabytes short if we put all those back. Probably could have gotten away with um, just taking a couple, maybe a couple of the larger games out, and that would have been fine. So that's up to you how you want to do that, but the, these games you definitely can um, not in, install uh, and they won't affect the, the coin ops light function. So now I want to go to the Xbox and show you what to do next. Okay, one thing I just want to go over is in the coin ops uh, 5 light folder and any coin ops folder there's going to be this um, readme folder. So anytime there's a readme uh, I would suggest that you read it. I would say, suggest that you open it up. So here you've got the Read Me and FAQ, or Frequently Asked Questions. So definitely go in there, and it will give you a lot of great tips on how to scan new games, how to exit a game. That uh, you do that by pressing the Start and Back button while you're playing a game, so it takes you back out to the main menu. And a lot of time went into 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 asking this, so certainly I would recommend. Um, giving this a, a good look, maybe reading it, and um, if you have any other questions you can check out the uh, CoinOps forum and I'll post a link to that as well. So now what you need to do if you um, if you go down to emulators you're not going to see it so you need to just give a soft boot. So that's the left and right trigger in the back and the black button It'll give you a soft boot, or you can just um, turn your Xbox on and off again. And then if you go to the Emulators folder, CoinOps Lite will show up. There it is, CoinOps 5 Lite. Press the A button to launch it. Now the first time that it launches, you're going to get this kind of blue screen, and it'll say press any button at the bottom. So press A and wait. And this will take, again, this will take about 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, now um, you can see Coinbase has just started to boot. And I'll just show you a couple things you might want to do when you first get into it. So this is Coinops Light. So if you go near the top, you should see the number of games. 371 games. I think we took seven games out. Now, if you hit the start button, you go to screen size adjustment and hit A. And then you, here you can just move your D-pad till you start to see the white corner and then hit A again and then you'll see the other corner and you can use your D-pad to kind of adjust that hit A again and if we back up uh, a little blurry that's just the uh, camera it looks fine on screen now the um, another thing you might want to do uh, of course, now this is going to scroll through all the games are there, all the videos are, game, are there. Um, a couple things you might want to do is go into the start menu, go to settings A, and then go all the way down to the bottom where it says warning advanced settings. And so if you enable those, so you just push your D-pad to the right to enable them, and then you can hit the right trigger and then hit it again. Now it says disable tracking for slow game loading. Now I usually just 
right now it's dis disabled. I'll just hit the D-pad to enable it. And then hit the uh, back button. And so now what you have is you have the uh, Uh, the games will load up a little quicker, which is nice. Um, and there you have it. That's CoinOps 5 Lite installed on a stock hard drive, stock Western Digital 8 gigabyte hard drive. Let's see, one of our, one of my favorite games is Galaga. So let's, I'll just show you that boot up. That should boot in less than. Uh, 30 seconds just to show you that it's working fine. Okay, the back button to put your coins in, the start button to start. Now I think I'm going to play a little Galaga and you guys can go and install CoinOps on your own Xbox.